it was cracking everybody um so new video this one was uh, a question asked by uh one of my patreons on my patreon channel and um tony tony asked about lifers dealing with um respect issues and i'm guessing he meant more on the streets than in prison but <clears throat> i'm gonna tell a story in prison and then uh hopefully this doesn't take too long but so here's one story So after uh, SB 261 had passed, uh, Senate Bill 261, which was the, the bill where um, I knew my chances of getting out were gonna be way better because I was 19 at the time and Senate Bill 261 was if you were under 21 at the time you committed your, your murder, uh, you had to be evaluated in a different way right i hadn't had any write-ups for a few years and um this was this incident i'm going to tell you about was probably i don't even think two maybe maybe two years before i was released so I was a porter in the building, right? <clears throat> and it was a laundry day. And um, it was three of us passing out laundry. One basically calling out what to make in the, in the, in the bundles. And then it was me and a white boy. And we were making the bundles, giving them in the cell. <clears throat> so. So I get to, we get to this one cell really really big black dude that i was cool with you know we were pretty cool with each other you know we talked we were respectful and shit but this dude was uh like i said he was a big ass dude and um he you know he didn't like to have sallies and every time he got a sally he would always uh act a little more uh aggressive in order to get his sallies, I guess, to be like, I don't want to be in the cell with this fucking nut. <clears throat> so here we go. Uh, the white boy d makes his portion of the roll and hands it to me, and then I roll it in a towel, and I hand it in there to that cell, right? And as I push the cart to, to walk off to the next cell, I hear him. I hear the dude say, you wanna give me some rip that shit, you fucking bitch? And I fucking just like, cause I was already moving past the cell and I fucking just, it was like immediate, like, fuck, eh? I don't know who this motherfucker's talking to, but I handed him that roll. And I was angry. But I was more like, damn, man. I was about to go home, maybe. I had a chance. The white boy didn't hear it. Nobody heard it. But that's not the point. Even though I was a lifer, trying to do good, uh, minding my own business, working on myself internally, developing the insight that I knew I needed to develop to convince the board that I was suitable. At the end of the day, when you're in prison, you have to maintain the respect. It's, it's the bottom line. And so, uh, continue passing out laundry. The day ended and I was in my cell. Didn't tell my cellie nothing. Didn't tell nobody. You don't involve other people like that. You know, if you're a man, you know, you, hey, you're gonna, you're gonna, first step is you go to a person, you know, 
see like i can't get into all that shit but a lot of these riots that like especially that pelican bay riot people don't understand that there were people that got uh, severely disciplined behind that because other people felt like you know this incident started between you and this person and yet everybody was dragged in and so there are some people that look like look at that type of shit as cowardice like why you bring everybody else in handle your business and everybody will get involved you know and uh so that night i didn't sleep well you know i was just thinking you know my wife has been riding with me and um i'm about to to fuck off my opportunity to ever get out this is gonna probably destroy my marriage. Not not initially, but you know. Anyway, so next day uh I come out of the cell and um my mind is made up, right? It's made up on, on a certain thing. And I'll I'll explain that. So I'm walking around and you know I got something on me, and I happened to go to one, uh, this cell where two of my, my younger homeboys were at, right? And, you know, as you guys that have been with my channel know, I, I like to bullshit, I like to clown around, and uh, especially when it's my little homeboys like that, you know, and immediately they noticed something was wrong. And uh, one of my homeboys from Santa Maria, he was like, what's up, homie? Somebody get at you wrong? And I was like, nah, fool. And he was like, nah. He goes, I already know. He goes, hey, homie, you got action of going home. Let me know who it was, homie. I'm going I'm I'm to I'm handle that right now. And I was like, nah, don't, hey, don't trip. And I don't know how. But he says, was it that motherfucker right there? Cause I can't stand him. And I'd look over my shoulder and it was the dude, right? And I was like, nah, man, that, that was a funny trip. But it was a trip how he knew, right? But now it's like, now other people want to start trying to get involved in, you know, because they noticed that I was not my, my normal bullshitting. You know what I mean? I was. I was being very serious that day. So I said, you know what, fuck this. The bottle was headed into the shower. So I, I went over to where the drinking fountain was, which is below where the tower is, right? And I called his name, A. And he looked at me and I told him, hey, come here real quick. And he looked at me and he said, I'm good. What's up? And I said, hey, come here, man. Let me talk to you. And he was like, nah, what's up? What's going on? So I was like, damn, now for sure, I, I'm not getting away with nothing. So I approached him and I saw in his eyes that he knew something was up, right? And I said, hey man, I'm gonna ask you a question. I need an answer right now. I said, yesterday when I passed out that laundry, I heard you say something about, you want to give me some ripped up shit, you fucking bitch. And immediately he was like, hey, that wasn't directed to you, man. That was directed to that white boy. You know, he's done it before. This. And this is the thing, the difference. Earlier, when I was younger, I wouldn't even ask all that. I wouldn't have gave him an opportunity. But when he said that, cool. That's that man's issue now not mine you know i was willing to hurt this dude because of my fucking wanting to maintain a, a level of respect and jeopardize everything but you gave me a way out you peed and i took it and so that's one thing where you know um and this happens that you know when you're in prison 
you have to you know that was an example where I hadn't done nothing wrong but yet somebody wanted to scare their Sally or whatever it was whatever their intentions were they put me in a position where had I not been already to the point where I had been working so much on on, on my my insight and and, and, and and trying to hold myself accountable and actually trying to trying to go home I would have fucked that off you know I would have fucked him off and it would have dragged other people in and fucked them off and who knows what would have been now come out after all that so there's that story and then as far as like us lifers when we get out you know <clears throat> none of us are fucking we're all the same we're all human we all bleed we all breathe we all die right but because of situations that we've been in before prison in prison this close quarter combat type shit how deadly it is the the self-awareness that we have the the knowledge that we have of ourselves and what we are capable of doing to someone is normally for me it's enough to where you know somebody's getting stupid out here you know of course i'm human and i can get riled up but then i look at it like he's a fucking clown man am i really gonna you know there's no way, you know, I'm on the streets now. There's no way that I'm going to jeopardize anything to lose this, man. To lose this chance, to lose this opportunity. You know, the commissioners, the governor, they take a risk every time they find one of us suitable. And like I've said before and I'll, I'll say it every chance I get man every one of us lifers that has gotten out we owe it to those that are still in there to hold a job to pay our bills to be responsible to be responsible to be respectful to not allow our petty egos to get in the way of our success because our success is a reflection on them while they're incarcerated we're out here showing the world showing our co-workers showing our bosses showing our neighbors we're all right man we work hard and we appreciate everything that we have in our lives you know so i can say that yeah, there, there's there's things that, you know, the way people talk out here and the words people use out here are so different from, from prison. And I've, I've mentioned before where, you know, <clears throat> I don't have enough life experience on the streets yet to where when I run into a situation, I can relate it, I can relate it to another situation on the streets. You know, I have where something happens and immediately I have to, what can I relate it to? And it's going to be a prison uh, environment. And the, and the decisions you make in there are so different than what you make out here, you know? But what's important is for everyone to know that every one of us lifers that's been released, we value life. We value human life and life period. We value our freedom. We appreciate all of it. And even though, yes, every one of us gets frustrated by uh, how loose people talk out here it's just talk man and it's not where it would lead to anything more than just talk unless you go there obviously someone you know it, i'm no tough guy but you know people see me with all my tattoos and shit whatever Normally, if they say something, it's because they didn't really look at me. And when they do, they're like, they change up. And I'm like, that's good enough for me. It's like that situation that I just told you about. Once he was like, it wasn't to you. Hey, pff, cool. And when they, when they, 
you know, somebody's driving and they flip me off and then I look at them and they're like, you know, they're, oh shit. Hey, cool. I get a laugh out of it. I might flip them off, but hey, it's all good, man. So I'll end this one here. See if I can get it put out right now. Take care.